Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Griffin again. I'm going to show you some fun ways to keep learning even when you're taking a bath. My computer's rocking, and that's why I'm rocking. There we go. Um, go get your moms and dads or your grown up that's taking care of you while mom and dad are at work, and um, they're going to need to see how to do this too. You always need your grown up help when you're using these things. Um, so go get a grown up. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, you got your grown up? I hope so. Today, I have a muffin tin. Now, you can use any pan or a cup, whatever you want. But if you use a muffin tin, you can make lots of color of washable paint. I'm going to start with a little bit of shaving cream. And I'm going to put it in. I'm going to use two colors today, so I'm going to put it in two. See, a little bit of shaving cream. And you can use food coloring. And today I'm going to use a little bit of watercolor paint, and you only need a little bit to make a color. So I'm going to do it down here, but then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to do orange and blue today. So I've got my orange. Now I have my blue. These are new paints. I get to open them up. I always put the lids on my paints or on my food coloring. And if you see, I've added just a little drop of orange and a little drop of blue. It's hard to see. And you can take a popsicle stick or a spoon and you just start mixing it up a little bit. Mix, mix, mix. If it's not as dark as you want it to be, you can add more color. I think I might have to add a little more color to mine. It's hard to see. So let's add a little more orange. And you just mix it until you have the color that you want. Here's my orange. You can get it really orange so you can see it well on YouTube. You can tell I have orange. I'm going to keep mixing it. It is orange. I know it's hard for you to see on the video, but we'll keep on it. All right, and then the other color I have is blue. And I'm at the bathtub, so I have water right here. Rinse off my brush so I don't mix my paint colors. Let's add a little more blue. See, I have orange and I have blue. That's so you can see. I'm mixing that color. Blue coloring would take less time to mix up. I do have a little bit of blue in here. Hard to see. It is blue. All right, again, I'm at the bathtub, so I have the perfect place to get some water and rinse off. This is something you can use while you're taking a bath, and it makes bath time fun, and the shady cream help make you clean. I'm going to turn my camera so you can see my wall. Now, my bathtub wall is tile, so if your bathtub wall isn't tile, do it on the bathtub. But look, i got my paintbrush, and I'm going to practice. I'm going to write my name. Watch. G R I F F I N. I wrote my name on the bathtub wall. You can also practice numbers. Let's practice some numbers. One. Two, 
two. Three. Let's go to five today. Four. Five. Now watch, it also works with your finger. I'm going to use some glue on my finger. Okay? So look, you can do it with your fingers. Um, let me see. I think I'm going to make a circle right here. Circle. Oh, there's all my blue coming out right there. I'm going to make a square. Ready? Can you see? Down, across. Here's my square. So you can use these uh, tools, the shaving cream and the color, and your fingers or a brush to write in the bathtub. Now, oh no, how am I going to get that off? Well, let me show you. Remember, where am I? I'm in the bathroom. I have lots of water. Okay. Now, I have a special sprayer. So, my sprayer will make it clean. Watch. See, it washes it right away. I need to use your fingers a little bit. There we go. Now, mom and dad, it should be fine for your tile. You might not want to leave it sit a long time because it might leave a stain on your tile, but it's something that washes off really easily. So make yourself some shaving cream paint and get a paintbrush. Take a nice bath to get clean in the evenings and practice your letters and your numbers on the bathtub wall. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.